everybody, happy Teenji Tuesday. It's Gianna. You're watching Teenji Tuesday. I hope you guys are loving my content lately. I got a new intro video up. I'm doing more Disney stuff, which is exciting. Let me know in the comments down below what you're liking, what you're not liking. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and please click that little bell notification so that every Tuesday you guys get a notification when my video goes up. I was brainstorming content the other day and I have this little journal that I write in about like Disney experiences that I've had that I haven't talked about yet or just things that are exciting and yesterday I was cleaning my room and it was kind of like a bigger mess than usual. My room is never messy and I was under my bed, I don't remember why, and I found something and I was like, oh my gosh, how have I never told this story yet? So I am going to tell you guys a story that I'm so excited to share with you because this is like a huge deal, like a really big deal. And when it happened to me, I was like way younger and I like thought last night I did like so much reflecting and I'm like, I'm just so thankful for like the magic that my teenage self like worked for me because I like look back now and I'm like, dang, how was I so smart? Or like, how was I so on top of it when things were happening? But I, I'm just so proud of myself for doing this. Um, I was so young, so it's like I look back on like my young self and I'm like, good job, G, you did that. So we're gonna just like flash back in time. Okay, so this, this story is about the world of color. So if you guys don't know what the world of color is, it is a nighttime show in California's Disney's California Adventure, right across from Disneyland. It's a water show. It was unlike anything of its kind. It was a very big deal when it came out. I remember when I went to Disneyland for my very first time when I was 14, it was 2009. They were building the show. And so they had the lake like partially drained and they were building everything in there, or maybe it was fully drained, but we were staying at the Grand Californian and we could see from our room like everything that was being built and we were like wow what is that gonna be because you know popping on the internet and being like what is this wasn't really like as big of a thing back then not to say that the internet wasn't happening but i just i don't know we weren't googling things when i was 14. i guess i don't know maybe i just wasn't but anyway <laughs> besides the point they were building the show and we were like me and my mom were really excited about it my friend stephanie was with us and we were like this is gonna be so cool can't wait to see what this is so of course you know a few a few years later world of color opens and it is flippin stunning i remember the first time i saw it i like i cried my jaw was dropped it is just like really the most amazing thing it's so cool just the way that they saturate the colors um if you guys haven't seen it it's it's basically like a fountain and they project disney movies parts of disney movies onto the fountain onto the water and then like they you know the water does this and it's like the color is so vibrant it is so beautiful and still to this day such a beautiful show and the show has changed there's been like different things for the 60th they had one that was like very walt heavy but the show is just it's so so good so anyway when i was a freshman in college it was 2013 and i was a fresh freshman like first semester freshman i applied for the disney college program because i was like i need to get into the Disney college program. You know, it was my dream forever. That was the, what I wanted to do right away. It's basically 95% of the reason I went to college because I was like dead set on not going to school at all. And then I found out that I could do the Disney college program if I went to college. So I was like, okay, community college, hi, I'm coming over because I'm gonna go to the Disney college program. And literally like the first or second day of school, I had a meeting with whoever the lady was who like could help me with the college program. And I was like, ah, I'm totally gonna get in. Disney's my life. Needless to say, I didn't get into the college program my first semester. My first like three or four times I didn't get into the college program. But you know, I got in eventually, so it's fine. But I had just applied for the college program and I was awaiting the next step, so the web-based interview. And so literally every single like second I was in class, I was on my phone checking, refreshing, refreshing, refreshing. And then like on my computer, in class, always just like researching Disney stuff, anything I could find. And then one day I saw this link for an audition. And I don't know if it was on Disney's website or if I found it through Instagram or like what was happening. Cause this was like the earlier days of Instagram too. I think I got my Instagram in 2012. I found this link to this audition and the audition was for, it didn't say anything really specific, but it was basically like audition to have your voice used in a Disney show which if you guys know i have been in theater basically my whole life and i love to sing but like my dream when i was like little 
like when I would, I would, mm, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm so sorry. I'm just really excited. But every year, me and my mom watch the Christmas Day Parade together on, you know, ABC. And it's a tradition. And every year, I'm like, dang, to get to sing in front of that castle in like a little dress in many years would be my end all be all. So I'm always like, yeah, if I get like stupid rich, that's like the first thing I'm doing. If I even get mildly rich, it's the first thing I'm doing. Yeah. I'm gonna do that one day. It's gonna happen still. It's still a dream. It'll still happen. It's fine, right? So I've just like always thought it would be so cool. I grew up like loving wishes. I had the disc. I would like play it in my stereo every night, like the fireworks track. I knew every word to all the songs. Like I just, you know, when you love Disney, you love Disney. And who wouldn't want an opportunity to be in a Disney show? And I didn't know really anything about it. So I'm reading this audition um, like listing and it's like you need to sing this song here. So I was like, okay They were like these are the guidelines You need to send an, aud an audition tape of you singing the song with a black background and you need to be wearing like X Y and Z colored shirts and um, It needs to be in by like this day and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this and I think I filmed it on my laptop, which is so Horrifying because I could only imagine what the audio sound like. Yeah, so I set up my laptop in my room that day I made my mom go out to Walmart and buy black sheets and I hung them behind my head and I was like mm, You know just like being the drama warming up and I was like oh. I, I think I made an appointment with my vocal coach to like teach me the song But the song was a Christmas song and the song was like mm, mm. Okay you guys will hear the song, so don't worry. <laughs> but, um, I send in my audition tape, and like I said, I'm in class every day, like, like looking, 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 looking to see if I get anything from the Disney College program. And I'm sitting in class, and I'm like refreshing, 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 and this is like a week after I send in my audition. Refreshing, 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 and I get a freaking email. <laughs> and it says like, Disney, World of Color. I have the email, I'm gonna pull it up, but I just wanna tell you my reaction. I literally jumped out of my seat, like in the middle of, I don't know, whatever, American history, like popped out of my seat. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I ran out of the room and I called my mom and I was like, oh my God. Oh. And I hadn't even read the email yet. Like I had not even read it. So I'm gonna read it right now, like what it says. And to this day, I, I am like very, very good at like archiving, doing my whole email. This, these emails are still, it's. If I scroll all the way down to my email, it's the first email in my inbox. Okay, so the first email says World of Color Honor Choir. So the audition was for an honor choir um, and it was composed by a Grammy winning composer and conductor, Eric Whitaker. So the email reads, and this is from Eric Whitaker, this email. Thank you so much for your patience as you have waited for the release of the World of Color Honor Choir performance list. Having watched and listened through the submissions, I can tell you that every single singer who took part did a fabulous job and I thank you all. Writing Glow, which is the song he wrote for the show, for Disney and agreeing to host an honor choir was something of a dream come true for me having grown up with Disney and the theme parks in my blood. Thank you for joining me in this unique choral experience. For those who made it into the show, the World of Color Honor Choir, congratulations. The list is now published on this site. This collaboration with Disney was both a huge honor for us and all something of an experiment. I can't wait to see it live in California and hope that some of you will be able to make it too. And then it goes on and it said that there are ideas for the next coil project, but I don't think there ever was one. So anyway, there's a link to everybody who made it. So I click the link and I'm scrolling through it. It's like not no longer there anymore. And I'm like scrolling through to try and see my last name. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, P, 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 P. And it was there. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> oh my God, we need to go to Disneyland. So I called my mom and I was like, mom, book our flights. We're going to Disneyland. And she was like, why? And I was like, I'm gonna be in World of Color. I, that like still like, I can't even believe that gives me chills. So of course we booked our flights to Disneyland for December. It was me, my mom, and my friend Sam. We actually went to go see the show twice, and it was amazing because it was like a winter-themed show, but the song Glow played in the beginning, and over the three panels of water, there were snowflakes coming down with 
the videos that we sent in. So it's like my face singing this song. I was like shocked. I couldn't believe it. I was so thankful, so happy that I got chosen, that I got to go because like what a flip and heartbreak if I would have gotten into the show and I wouldn't have been able to go see it. So shout out to you, mom. Thank you for making my dreams come true. This was truly like one of the coolest things ever. We were in a Facebook group with the other people from the World of Glow Honor Choir and we were gonna make t-shirts and wear them, but I don't think we ever did. They emailed us again and said, hey gang, this was again in 2013. We've been presented with the most beautiful holiday present from Disney, the final World of Color Honor Choir film from the Winter Dream show in video format. You look and sound sensational, but like the link doesn't work anymore. But I think that the song is still on SoundCloud. If I can find it, I'm gonna link it down below. It is it is a choir, so like you can't hear me specifically because I think there are like 300 people in it, but still, I'm in it. So I can officially say that I sang with my own voice in a show on Disney property. How cool is that? So then they send us these <laughs> little, little pieces of paper and I framed mine and it was hanging in my room until I moved downstairs but it says world of color it has dust on it this is what I found under my bed <laughs> it says world of color honor choir certificate of participation presented to Gianna Pinocchio on October 3rd 2013 and then it says the name of the show or the name of the song glow thank you for your participation in the world of color, winter dreams, honor choir. We appreciate you lending your voice to this great and magical endeavor. Once the voices of our honor choir members are combined together, glow will ring out into the night, inspiring everyone who views its unique, luminous diversity. And then it has some a uh, little like line from the song. <laughs> oh my gosh, big Disney moments. Honestly, like all good things that have happened to me in my life, Disney. It's just all Disney. It's so, it, it's amazing. I just, yeah, I can't believe I haven't told you guys that yet. So I really wanted to share that story with you. And I just think it was so fun and magical. And it was such a memorable trip and so much fun. It was Sam's first time to Disney and my mom's second time to Disneyland. I think it was my second time to Disneyland as well. And we got to see the show twice and it was so cool. And I just have like very fond memories of that time. It was so fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Teenage Tuesday. I will see you next week. Bye.